you got to understand, you have to know that blockchain and crypto is going to change this world. But many people don't see what's happening right before their eyes. So let's get you some eye bleach because it's time for Chico Crypto. What am I freaking talking about? Well, this relates to one of the first mainstream and today the most powerful crypto company located in America, Coinbase. What's going on with the base? Well, there was some big plans for those involved at Coinbase with our current governmental administration, Trampster, Steve Snooch Minooch. Snoogans. An acting comptroller of the currency and former Coinbase chief legal officer, Brian Brooks. We gotta repeat some stuff and go back in time, but stick with me. So 2011 to 2014, Brian Brooks and Steve Mnuchin, they work together at One West Bank. By 2016, Steve Mnuchin is our Secretary of the Treasury. And here's where things get a little too coincidental. May of 2018, news broke that Coinbase was meeting with federal regulators, including the Treasury, about obtaining a special federal banking license for fintech companies. And then just a four short months later, it was announced that Brian Brooks, Steve Mnuchin's best friend, would be joining Coinbase as their chief legal officer. So super obvious today, if you look at the timeline, that this was just a play to help Coinbase get this license as it faced big old roadblocks, especially from the state of New York who tried to stop this fintech banking license. Let's look at these timelines. Reuters covered it. September 14th, 2018. New York sues the Treasury to stop this specific license. September 18th, Brian Brooks is brought onto the base. Yeah, obvious he was planted there for something. As Brian didn't stay with Coinbase for long, just over a year and a half before taking on his new role. April of 2020, Brian is brought back to his friend Steve in his Treasury Department as Senior Deputy Comptroller, NCO. And then one month later, by May of 2020, he was promoted to the top as Acting Comptroller of the Currency. Now here's where things get super interesting. Two months after this, Reuters broke the news that Coinbase might be preparing a landmark IPO in stock market listing, which they said could come as early as next year, 2021. Now back then, I already knew something was up. I created a video, I showed the connections, what was behind this landmark direct listing, but let's show them again. So back in 2015, guess who completed their minority investment in Coinbase? None other than the New York Stock Exchange, which Business Wire covered back then. Guess who is listed as the investor contact on the release article? Well, just scroll down. Cool Kelly Loeffler, of course, the co-owner of the NYSE. And then Kelly became part of the Trump administration team when she was appointed senator by Governor Brian Kemp in December 2019. Coincidental, or was this all a part of the plan? Me thinks part of the plan. Why? Well, the direct listing, of course. This is a different type of stock market listing where new shares aren't created and sold, but the shares of old are sold, the shares held by investors and existing investors like past employees, the NYSC and others. And there is no lockup restrictions on their existing shares. They can sell or dump whenever. And Kelly's NYSE has been pushing to get this direct listing offering through regulators so it can happen. Timelines, my friends, timelines. December 2019, what happened the same time as Kelly becoming Georgia state senator? Well, Reuters covered it again. The SEC rejected her New York Stock Exchange proposal for direct listings on the exchange. Well, it was time to get to work. March of 2020, they wanted this reviewed. The NYSE, they submitted once again to the SEC and it was rejected. Come on, Kelly. Kelly, do your job. Well, it seems she may have because by June of 2020, the NYSE was submitting once again with a new push one month before rumors started circling that Coinbase was going to take this direct listing route. So there must have been some bumping of elbows because just two months later in August, the SEC approved the rule change and the path to direct listings. Although this hit a snag and approval stay was hit, but things are still looking like approval from the SEC. 
which meant it's time to get this show on the road. Two months after this, October, it was announced that NYSE was looking to test this process with the trader audience. Show how it works, aka it's getting ready to go live. So things were looking about as good as could be for a 2021 Coinbase IPO and banking license explosion, which would fill the pockets of those getting ready to make it happen. But just two weeks later, the November election came and it became known that the current Trump administration would be on its way out, throwing this plan down the frickin' drain. That's why later in that month, just over two weeks ago from today, we saw Trump do something weird. He nominated Brian Brooks to his position at the OCC to serve for another five years, and he sent it to the Senate for confirmation, just as the Bidester was beginning the transitional steps. Hmm. And then two days before his nomination from Trump, Brian Armstrong of Coinbase went on a tweet storm about how Mnuchin and the Treasury were looking to pass crazy crypto regulations. Wait, I thought they were on Team Crypto. Mnuchin, you had the acting comptroller on your own team. What's up with that? Well, I'll tell you, a relationship, a plan is blowing up before our eyes. Coinbase was playing friends to the Trump administration as they had a big old frickin' plan, banking license, IPO, a 2021 shebang. But that is most likely not happening, not with Team Tramp. That's why you see a turn of support. Circle CEO Jeremy Allaire, who co-created USDC with Coinbase, just recently was supportive of Bidester, saying his team will boost crypto's role in US infrastructure. And then, just a month before, you had Brian Armstrong of Coinbase pushing right-wing Trump stuff on Twitter. Hmm, why the sudden change of tune from you guys? Politics, my friends. Politics. So what's going to happen? Will Brian Brooks be confirmed by the Senate? And will Joe keep him on if so? Well, I'll tell you most likely not. He's probably going to get confirmed by the Senate, but unless they can come to terms about this, which they won't, this whole thing is going to blow up and they smack crypto across the head for good. Why do you think Brian Armstrong was freaking out on Twitter about the possible coming regulations from Mnuchin? That wasn't part of the plan. Well, the plan is blowing up, but Brian Brooks, he tried to calm Brian Armstrong down regarding this. Let's listen in now. Former boss at Coinbase, the CEO Brian Armstrong, um, sent out last week, and he said that the Treasury could be, quote, planning to rush out some new regulation regarding self-hosted crypto wallets before the end of the term. Is that true? Yeah, look, um, and Melissa, you know, rumors abound in Bitcoin more than almost any other place. What I would tell you is we're very focused on getting this right. We're very focused on not killing this. And it's equally important that we develop the networks behind Bitcoin and other cryptos as it is that we prevent money laundering and terrorism financing. So believe me, there's a balance here and it's going to work for everybody. So that's a neither a yes or no answer to that. Should we be expecting some new regulations by by the end of the Trump term? I think you're going to see a lot of good news for crypto by the end of the Trump term. Some of it's going to have to do with banks connecting the blockchain. Some of it's going to be more clarity around the nature of these assets. So believe me, there's going to be very positive messages coming out. At the same time, it's a dangerous world out there. We have to be honest about that. But nobody's going to ban Bitcoin. Nobody's going to ban some of these transmission technologies. I think it's going to be a lot less bad than people were worried about. Well, it must have calmed Brian Armstrong down as he retweeted the clip. But I'm sure yesterday, Brian Armstrong, he slammed his fist on the desk as Mnuchin met with the G7. And as we can see from the Treasury Post, they also discussed ongoing responses to the evolving landscape of crypto assets and other digital assets and national authorities work to prevent their use for malign purposes and illicit activities. There is strong support across the G7 on the need to regulate digital currencies. Regulators! Mount up! So, what the freak is going on? Well, I hope Brian Armstrong is watching because I'm sure I could shine a light into it. Brian Brooks is loyal to Steve Mnuchin. If Brian Brooks doesn't secure his OCC spot and is confirmed by the Senate soon, they will blow cryptocurrency up on the way out and stick the D right up Coinbase's bungholio. They have no loyalty to you, Coinbase, and no loyalty to crypto. So crypto users, my fans, be cautious, be careful. 
things could blow up in the blink of an eye. Cheers. I'll see you next time.